Let's go over some of the core features of the Rock Job Site app. An annotation is a great way to label various parts of the job site. So I can pinch to zoom on any part of a photo that I take on here with it. So I can see full detail on certain parts of the construction with it. Zoom in on any area as well as mark it up. So say I want to circle this and associate a dimension. I can just drag and drop my measurements that I've previously created. Put them anywhere I want on the screen. Pinch to zoom out and I have full visibility and flexibility as to where certain aspects go along with dimensions associated with them to make sure the job is done right. The T1 connects directly with the Rock app and shares any measurement capture on it. So I can be on the other side of the job site capturing measurements and in real time sharing them with anyone on the job site. So you'll notice all you need to do is hit the save button. I'll have a copy here on my e-paper display and it'll send it over Bluetooth to the app. Once it's in the app, anyone on the job site with an internet connection has full-time access to it. So you can be on the other side of the job site, on the roof, in the basement, up on the scissor lift, or back at the office and in real time see every measurement I'm taking along with the full details on it. So who made it, where it was made, who completed it, what site it goes to, as well as using it as part of any calculation or annotation in the app. The Rock App Area screens acts as your cut list. So any measurement on here that I have shared with someone else in another project updates in real time. So if I complete a measurement here, it's completed across the job site. So these tiles appear, they can be made manually. I can go into measurement and say, I wanna make 36 and 1 8 of an inch measurement. Go ahead, populate it hit the save button and it's populated on my grid. So I have all the measurements on here. I can add a labels to them at the bottom. And then up here on top, I can go ahead and select them, see details on who made the measurement, where it was made on the map, what time it was made, who completed it, as well as print out a label for it should I wanna label the actual material itself with it. So this is great to pair up with the M1, anyone you have operating the cut saw on the other side of the job site or vice versa. You have all your measurements on here, updated in real time, you can see all your completed measurements and a nice easy way to keep everything organized. Rock App has over 40 built-in construction calculators ranging from every trade, from staircasing, roofing, finished carpentry, concrete and electrical and more with it. So very easy to customize and set up, make sure we have all the calculators set up for our needs. But to run through an example today, we'll make a four point saddle conduit bend. And you can see what the interface is like. So we can zoom in here, we have our set of input fields on it. So say we wanna bend a 30 degree angle here, enter that. Distance to the first bend, we'll call 12 inches. Top of the saddle length, we'll call 18 inches. And then the final offset from the surface, say this is uh, six and a half inches, add that over there with it. And now that we've completed it, we have all of our measurements directly calculated on here from our shrink, showing how we bend the actual conduit from the distance from the beginning of the length with it, automatically generated and being able to save as a new measurement inspection on our actual measurement grid. PDF markup allows me to draw directly over PDFs that I import as well as add captured measurements as as built directly over the plans or blueprints to ensure I always have the latest information for myself and my team. Great feature of the app is the built-in fractional calculator. So I can enter the calculator directly from the area page and I have a full fractional keyboard layout, normal numerical layout, as well as previously stored measurements here with it. So these can be directly taken from my area view or my T1 directly and I can perform any kind of mathematical operations on here directly in here without having to convert anything to decimal. So I can do all my fractional math directly in here. I have a full history of all my previous equations that I'm able to click on and edit along with going back here and changing any previous measurement to whatever I want with it. So really fully functional side of things allowing me to very, very easily go back, change equations, get outputs and save it directly as a new measurement down here for viewing and editing later. Another great feature is conversions. Conversions allow me to flip units in between any type of numbers on it. So up here we have our top level categories ranging from length, mass, area, speed, temperature, et cetera with it. So for this example, let's go to area and say I want to convert square feet and then the bottom field down here to square meters with it. So I can enter whatever my initial value is. So say I have 133 square feet, I can very quickly tell that that's 12.35 square meters with it, as well as using this sign to flip them back and forth with it should I wanna change units on it. So a lot of flexibility in terms of what we convert here and I can save the outputs for reference later as well with it. So if I save it, I can go back to the object collection, see it here, re-edit it or view any other pertinent information. 
the Rock app synchronizes across devices in real time with it. So any changes I make to one device is automatically propagated to anyone else I share in my job site with it, allowing me to see full access as to who created a measurement, when it was created, where it's created on the job site, and to make sure everyone is in synchronization at all times with it. So any changes made on one device is propagated to every other device as well with it, whether I'm deleting a measurement, completing one, creating one, or otherwise changing or manipulating the data set here. So if I make a measurement for 12 and a half over here and save it, it'll automatically propagate across all other devices and the devices' respective units.